I'm going to show you how to connect your Zmodo um, Wi-Fi camera to your network. So first of all, make sure it's plugged in. The power on my burnt out, so I had to uh, change the box. Make sure it's plugged in. And then make sure your Ethernet wire is connected to your camera. At least on this model, which is the, the ZB... Um, ZB is it IBH13W it's got the infravision and it's the yeah the Wi-Fi model next you run IP search okay once you open uh, your IP search IPC search you uh, click on refresh and it might take a minute and then your device device name will pop up and it'll give you uh, you know your gateway your IP address all the information that you need now to hook it up to your Z viewer so you know click on refresh and get that information okay now you open up the Z, view, Z viewer once you're on the Z viewer then you uh, click on add device and now you have your options for finding your device. Another way of hooking it up is go to the IP search, IP search, and now input your IP. Put your port and your device name. Let's see. Okay, so I did it manually. I went to the IP search up here and I added just put the camera IP address and I put port 8000 and it added it says added successfully and there's a the camera so after you just finished hardwiring it now uh, you unplug unplug your ethernet from your camera and then Go to the IPC search again, click the refresh button. It'll give you a new, um, a new IP. So now, now you got your new IP. Now you can go to uh, the add device again. And now click search. And now you got your wireless. The camera is now wireless, not hardwired. Click add. And add device successfully. Finish. And there it is. That's the wireless camera. So I unplugged my camera. I moved it to the front of the house. Now, if you want to set the camera so it only records let's say when someone's walking over here and you don't want the camera to send you an email because you can set it you come over here the this orange area that's the it captures emotion so anything that moves in there it'll send you a notification and you do that through kicking clicking on a send email alert you put in your email and you can send yourself a test email so it'll email you whenever there's any motion through here and uh, wherever you don't want the motion then you is it you left click or right click let me see yeah you right click and so yeah you just left click or right click so wherever the orange is at if there's motion there it'll send you an email